Have you ever sold a shoe in your collection and then, you know, once you get the money, you're kind of happy, but then in the back of your mind, you're thinking, I don't need it. I don't need it. I need it. What's good everyone on YouTube? It's me again, back with another video. And today we are just going to do a normal shoe review of a Nike shoe, but not a regular Nike shoe. This is actually a collaboration with uh, uh, Elite's lead designer, MMW. And actually, I've done a review on a different colorway of this particular shoe, but the story goes, I sold that shoe uh, for a pretty decent chunk of change, but then I really kind of missed having that particular sort of style of shoe. And uh, recently on Elise's website, the exclusive colorway they offered actually went on sale. So I decided, you know what, I'm gonna pick this one up and I'm not selling this one because first of all, this one doesn't really sell for any money. And secondly, this is the second time I've bought this shoe, so I think this is a pretty strong indication I should keep this in the collection. So, without more faffing around, today we are talking about the Nike Free TR3 SE MMW in the Army Camo colorway. Let's just go with that. So, yeah. So, with the intro out of the way, let's get into the box. So, the box itself is the same as last time. We've got this black sort of Nike Lab box. But different to most Nike Lab boxes, we've actually got the MMW and Nike logo on the side. I think there's music playing outside. That is really interesting. And then if we pull open the box, we are first greeted with this special layer of paper, this first layer of paper. And the paper reads, we train with patience. Training is incremental improvements. It is a ritual of solidarity and self-discipline. So the same sort of blurb about being an athlete or so. Um, and once we pull open the, special paper, we met with some um, regular paper, and the shoes were stuffed with standard packing paper in the toe and cardboard in the neck of the shoe. And the shoes come with additional sort of like thin wire laces, so we've got white laces and red laces. On this particular colorway, I just don't think it makes that much sense, so I think I'm just going to keep the black, colorway, uh, black laces. And weirdly on this special shoe, they did change something on the zipper where you could pair the two shoes together with this sort of nylon strap that sort of screws into the zippers in this sort of like twist lock me mechanism. I'll show some B-roll as to how it works. But yeah, that is a new addition of this particular shoe that wasn't present previously on the last edition. And finally, after all that, the thing that makes it worth it in my opinion, honestly, is we get this really nice gym bag and it's a really sort of thick uh, double layered gym bag with like a s extra pocket on the main part as well as a zip pocket at the front. We've got MMW written on the front and then we've got some other MMW uh, text on the other side and I'm not going to bother reading all those numbers. So pretty standard affair, just that um, added strap is different from the last one. And if we look at the side it reads Nike free uh, it reads free TR3 SE MMW. So the retail price on these, as I mentioned before, the retail originally was 380 euros. I didn't pay this. Um, through a weird circumstance of getting a slight defect on the shoe as well. So getting a refund on top of that, I ended up paying 300, uh, something like, uh, it was like 380 Australian dollars. I'll find the exact figure and put all the conversions here. And for 380, that's pretty much like what the original ones retailed for. So, you know, I'm fine to pay it again, but yeah, it's the second time I've bought this shoe, but hey, there we go. So with the box out of the way, let's get into the shoes. And here we are, the Nike Free TR3 MMW in the Army Camo colorway. So just, just like last time, this shoe is chunky as ever. And the reason for that is, as many of you probably already know by this point, this shoe is special because it comes with a detachable crampon like midsole outsole. And this midsole outsole is a really thick rubber that wraps around the entire like shoe itself. The shoe on its own is this sort of sleek running uh, uh, Nike free shoe. And the shoe is pretty lightweight, it's uh, pretty flexible, but then on top of that, you come with this uh, pretty thick and really heavy 
uh, Vibram traction outsole. So this has a much more sort of thick, like trail sort of uh, outsole uh, pattern. And you've got these two straps as well, like this toe guard and extended heel to sort of hold the shoe inside this particular sole. And I've checked before, the outsole itself is actually heavier than the entire shoe. So that's uh, pretty intense if you ask me. And then here's the normal shoe again. So in terms of like what the shoe offers on its own, we've got like the sort of typical Nike free outsole, with the lines and the rubber pods. And then the upper is a mixture of like some sort of like nylons, hardened plastic, sort of mesh, and a bit of leather actually on the back as well. And then we've got a little bit of suede and this pull tab. And then um, slightly different from the original version, uh, the zipper on the side is actually seems to be a little more like, I would say military looking. So the teeth are a lot more visible on this. And then the zipper head itself is this sort of square piece of metal with Nike and MMW written on the side. And it's one of those locking zippers that um, lock when it's facing down and allows you to move it up and down once it's facing up. And I'll pull out the shoe again. This is how it looks with everything together. So very much like a very chunky shoe. And then the laces itself are these like really thin wire laces and it's supposed to be inspired by like speed lacing on like track sneakers or something like that, of like riding shoes. So that pretty much covers the main features of this particular shoe. Now, in terms of sizing, as I mentioned before in my last review, I find that this shoe fits true to size lengthwise because it's yeah, pretty much like exactly how I want it. But in terms of width, it's actually quite a narrow shoe. So unless you have really wide feet and you don't mind like a lot of extra space in the toe, I would recommend going up half a size. But for anyone with like normal to narrow feet, I would highly recommend going true to size in this shoe. So these are a nine and a half. I'm usually a nine and a half and they fit me pretty well. A little bit narrow, but overall pretty good. Now, in terms of comfort, the free run underneath itself is actually quite a nice lightweight running shoe. The cushioning itself is not that uh, spectacular and that's obviously because Nike Free is supposed to mimic kind of like barefoot training and give your foot maximum flexibility and ground feel. But the bottom is adequate. Um, the upper is, despite the fact having it has all these layers, it's actually pretty uh, flexible and fairly breathable. So it's not too bad. Now with the Vibram sole, uh, at least in terms of flexibility, the Vibram rubber is actually pretty flexible, so it doesn't really stop your foot from bending. But the big downside of this particular outsole is that it adds a tremendous amount of weight to this shoe. It's honestly like, as I said in the last review, it's honestly like a pair of Tims, except if the pair of Tims were completely bottom loaded, because all the weight is just on the bottom of the shoe, because the upper honestly is quite minimal. So I would say without the outsole, it's a pretty decent minimal running shoe. With the outsole, it's an interesting ride, I'll tell you that. Now I'll get into the part of the video where I talk about my opinions on this shoe. And um, as I mentioned before, uh, this is the second time I've bought this silhouette. Um, after selling the first one, I really was like kind of like regretting selling the shoe. So I just felt I needed to get it again and I wasn't going to pay resale for a white pair. But this camo pair, honestly, while the outsole print makes it so that it's not as like versatile to switch with different shoes, um, I, I just think as a thing itself on its own, with the intended shoe that's supposed to go in it, it's a really nice uh, look. I might actually go as far to say, I think I prefer this camo version over the white version because it looks more military, it looks more tech wear, and I also just think uh, if you're going to wear this in the intended sort of environments where it might be like muddy or like low traction and dirty, uh, this will hide the dirt a lot better than the white pair because I have seen some photos of like someone like running in the white pair through the mud and it just looked absolutely thrashed. However, um, as, as mentioned last time, uh, this shoe just looks incredibly big when you're wearing the Vibram sole. And that's because the sole honestly has to encapsulate the entire shoe. So it looks about a good two sizes bigger than like the actual shoe. So like I typically a nine and a half, but this shoe honestly looks about 11 and a half, maybe even like a 12. So that's like a pretty big downside of this shoe. But if as long as you style it properly with like wider pants, 
or just a much more relaxed fit. I feel like this shoe could work pretty well in like certain wardrobes. And just the free run itself, I think works really nicely as like an athleisure sort of casual shoe. Um, I will mention uh, the factory defect that was on my shoe. The Nike swoosh on this gloss plastic doesn't seem to have been printed very well. And I actually had chipping on this uh, Nike swoosh before I even wore this shoe. And that's why I happened to get an extra discount on this shoe after complaining on the website. So that's how I managed to bring the grand total down to 380. But uh, aside from that, it doesn't bother me too much just because the Nike swoosh is black on a black uh, background. So overall, I would say I'm happy to have this shoe back in the collection. So with that, we've come to the end of another video. So I'd like to hear what you guys think of the Nike Free TR3 SE MMW in the camo colorway. And um, out of all the MMW stuff that is out right now, what is uh, your favorite? So for myself, um, I'm gonna be honest, if you guys haven't seen those um, snowmobile uh, Tesla Cybertruck shoes, I'm telling you, I'm calling it right now, that is gonna be a fire shoe. I'm just gonna say it right now. You guys may not believe me on that. But anyway, I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, leave a comment in the comment section down below. And if you guys are into more sneaker content and vlogs and dance sort of things, um, consider subscribing to the channel. So I'll leave it at that. Time for the on feet, and I'll catch you guys in another video.